Hello guys, great news for PHP Storm users. At Laracon US, they announced that Laravel IDEA, probably by far the number one most popular plugin for Laravel in PHP Storm, is now free for everyone. I actually witnessed the announcement myself while being at Laracon US, so I talked to Adele, Laravel IDEA creator, and Roman from JetBrains, and they're both happy. So this is the announcement. So in this video, I want to tell what happens now with Laravel IDEA and also what new features came in Laravel IDEA version 11. So first, here's the official blog post on JetBrains blog. Laravel IDEA is free and it has impressive 1.5 million downloads on the marketplace, even while being a paid plugin, imagine that. And for a reason, Laravel IDEA was constantly improved with new features, a lot of features coming from the feedback from users on Twitter, pretty fast. New Laravel releases also released some new syntax which also went fast into Laravel IDEA. And for me personally, I'm now using PHP Storm and Cursor depending on the task and PHP Storm clickability with Laravel IDEA is uncomparable. So Cursor, even with VS Code extensions and plugins, is only like 50% of what Laravel IDEA allows. So after all those years, Adele, the creator of Laravel IDEA, is happy to be a part of PHP Storm team. And how does that look in PHP Storm in the marketplace now? Laravel IDEA is not marked as paid plugin or anything. You can just install it for free. Also at the same article at the bottom, there's FAQ section about what to do if you do have subscription, is there any compensation and stuff like that. So I'll link that article and you may find your specific situation. This was my case. I had active paying subscription and I did need to cancel it manually. It all happened automatically. Now, next question, what happens to Laravel IDEA from here? Will there be new versions and improvements? And this is the official answer, again, on Twitter. We will continue developing the plugin with the same speed or even faster, which means that Adele is now working at PHP Storm or with PHP Storm, guys. I don't know the details of the deal, and frankly, I don't really care. I just jokingly asked whether Roman and Adele are both happy financially, and Roman just smiled back at me and told that, believe me, both parties are very happy. So that's all I needed to know. Now, finally, in this video, let's take a look at Laravel IDEA 11, which was released pretty recently on July 20th. So here's the change log with list of functions, and I will show you just a few of those new features. Probably the most noticeable thing is this on top of Laravel controller methods, which is clickable. And if you click this, you are redirected to the route. Basically, you can click between routes and controllers. Or for example, here in case of route get, you can click here dashboard. In this case, it will not bring you to the controller, but you can browse, for example, if you have the server set up in your PHP storm, which I didn't, I use Laravel herd, but basically can take you directly to the browser. This was the new feature that was in progress since May, announced on Twitter, and people were pretty happy about it, 286 likes. Another new feature, let's see on Twitter here, on June 16th, it was announced and then released in Laravel IDEA 11. If you have, for example, variable or structure, let's take a look at GIF, you can surround it with collect, or another example to surround that with DD, so DD expression. And finally, another GIF, you can have the classes listed and convert them to blade class directive. I like the format of GIF demonstration of new features. So this becomes add class where you can add more conditions later manually. And yeah, again, you can take a look at the full version 11 change log, and maybe one of those features would be valuable to you too. Now, what do you think about this Laravel ID and PHP Storm partnership? Probably great for the community. This is a great even success story as a developer for the author of Laravel IDEA. For many years, he was actively improving the product and now the payoff is pretty significant, I would say. Also speaking about PHP Storm, I'm in progress of reviewing their Juni AI Assistant for the second time after a few months and I will have a few videos or maybe even a full course ready quite soon. So subscribe to the channel to get the latest videos on that topic. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.